Lincoln and uh, with Commercial Fleet Export, and we're at the Louisville Truck Show, uh, also known as the Midwestern Trucking Show in Louisville. We're talking with Jerry Hummel, uh, who is going to demonstrate for Pittsburgh Power um, the, um, uh, the uh, exhaust manifold. The reason we like to do this is we, we come up with these, uh, we ran trucks for 47 years. We found that by freeing up this, uh, the airflow through these engines, we uh, can increase fuel mileage and performance. We do it to our race engines we build in our shop, and uh, it works really well. What this machine will do, it will test how much airflow we can get through a manifold uh, under a 28 inches of pressure. So we can tell when we put a stock cat manifold on how much air will go through that engine. And then once we put on our polished and ported manifold, you can see the increases that we get in that uh, manifold or in airflow. So what we'll do is we will uh, set this pressure gauge. Basically it's 28 inches of water considered as just pressure. We will set this at 28, and we got a stock cat manifold on here. This is a plain old stock manifold. Yep, yep. And it will show you how much percentage of air will go through that manifold. And then when we get done, we'll put ours on, and you can see the benefits and how it frees up back pressure using our manifold. Okay, I'm gonna start this, and we'll set this at 28. Shut it off, and there's a formula we use, which is 653.2 times 45 percent is 293 cfm of airflow through that. That's cubic Two, 293 uh, cubic feet of cubic feet per minute. Per airflow. minute, exactly. So now we will put the the polished and ported manifold on there. And the reason we do this is it just helps the engine breathe and frees up, on a Caterpillar, we'll free up about 28 to 32 horsepower. And uh, it's very beneficial in your engine to spool your turbo up quicker. And uh, it will also lower your exhaust temperatures by about 80 to 100 degrees because uh, there isn't as much friction and back pressure in there and with the ceramic coating on the manifolds that helps the It keeps the heat from soaking into the cast iron and it directs it towards the turbo Which heat is energy and the more energy we can put into the turbo the more efficient it will be. Okay, and then this is the Pittsburgh power manifold. Yep, this is our Pittsburgh power manifold take this one start it up now remember we had this set at 28 inches right okay we will change this and watch what it does for our back pressure here now we're only at 23 inches there so our pressure is lower our back pressure is lower lower back pressure 23 inches so now we've got to turn more to it to do a comparison put this up to 28 Now we look at our, our percentage, and now we're pushing 53 and a half, 54 percent through this same manifold at the same time. So you're moving more air through that, which increases. They're both the same diameter, so by moving more air through the same diameter hole, we're increasing the velocity of that air also to spool up a turbo a lot quicker. Okay, at 54% times 653.2, that's 352.728 
CFM of air. So we picked wow. up about 60 CFM of air for us. So wow. Picked up. So now you take 60 CFM for every time six cylinders, you're at 360 cubic feet more every minute that your engine can push out of the engine and it allows it to suck that much more clean air into the engine and make a cleaner combustion too. Alright, so you're getting the uh, exhaust out so you're getting the uh, exhaust out of the combustion chamber faster. Yep. Is the ceramic coating is keeping the the uh, exhaust hot until it gets to the turbo and you can get the, uh, the higher efficiency out of the turbo. Yep. And then uh, uh, you're moving more air, right. which is again more efficiency. Um, now I understand that, uh, that most of these uh, uh, exhaust manifolds, uh, the Pittsburgh cells are about 1650. Is that about the average retail cost yep, of these things? Some about... more, some less. Exactly. Yep. Yep, it depends on the application of the truck. Uh, you know, the Detroit's run about six to eight different configurations, so whichever truck it's in or whatever application varies on the price. But of. it's not $2,000. No, no. And it's not going to no. be as low as $1,000. Right. So. But what we find, you'll pick up generally on a uh, round, round figure, three to four tenths is what you will pick up for fuel mileage. So if you pick up three tenths of a mile per gallon, you're going to save over three thousand dollars a year in fuel savings alone. Okay. But not only that, but you will pick up a few extra horsepower out of it just as a benefit. And you're lowering your underhood temperatures because exactly. the heat is staying in until you get it out a little bit faster. Yep. This manifold actually will run 300 degrees cooler on the outside than an uncoated manifold. Wow. So wow. your underhood temperatures do cool considerably. Wow. Got anything on new on the market coming up? Is yeah, we have us uh, an ACERT manifold that we're going to be uh, casting next week. It's uh, brand new. We have our prototype sitting there. Uh, we'll have that out uh, sometime next week. And then we are working on some different Detroit and Cummins designs to uh, increase that airflow even more and uh, help you guys out a lot more. What about the uh, what about the, the engines that are using the particulate burner? We do those manifolds and we have one fleet out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota runs a hundred trucks. They tested our manifolds for a full year. They seen an increase of a solid three tenths and ever since that we do all of their trucks. They just bought 24 new uh, Cummins engines with the DPFs on them and we just do them right off. When they bring them in from the dealership, we do the manifolds right away. And uh, it's just a constant turnaround with them because they have seen the increase on the DPF. And engine. Cummins is not complaining about warranty or anything nope. like that? No, actually we have some Cummins dealerships that put our manifold on for the guys. So. Well, thank you very, very much. Thank and, you, uh, Ron. We'll catch up with you in Dallas or I-80 or some other place. That'll work. Good. Thanks, Ron.